funny. I mean, there's this old phrase uh, in, in my movie career. I've heard it like amongst the grips and stuff. You know, it's it's almost a joke. Uh, does life imitate art or art life? It's like Lily Tomlin, soup art, art soup. You know, <laughs> you just sit there, and after a while, you 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 really have to make efforts to distinguish what's what's happening. You know, around you, and to keep aware of the dynamics that you want to portray, that you want not to portray. You know, because it's it's very easy. It's a malleable form. Filmmaking is very malleable, and and you have to make sure you walk away from from each day doing what you wanted to do in the scene. You know, which means you've got to know what the scene's about mm. in the fullest fullest sense. Both your parents uh, were, or maybe still are, involved in journalism, mm -hmm. print and broadcast journalism. It seems like you would be perfect uh, to play a reporter. Mm -hmm. Deep voice, I seem to have. I know, and Brenda Starr was made already. <laughs> I know, what's that coming out? I wanted to play that. I didn't even get to read a script on that. I would love to play a journalist. Uh, you know, I would just, I, I always wanted to play uh, His Girl Friday, His Girl Friday, Roz Russell's character, and that I, I think I would be very good as a, a sort of likable, accessible, wise ass, you know, and, and some of those qualities are, are hard to combine to be accessible and to be wise ass. You know, usually it's either this heavy, sort of, you know, s secretly s seeking Susan desperately or whatever, <laughs> you know, where you're just all heavy or you're, or you're you know, insub insignificant as a character. It's, colors are what are exciting. Oh no, Tom, David's here. Oh my God. I'm, I'm begging you, please, just go now out the back door. I'm, I'm sorry, just... When I go, it'll be through the front door. Oh, it's a favor to me just this one time. Please, please go. I promise I'll work everything out, all right? Tom, please... Why don't you beg him not to come in? You want me to say it? I'll say it. Tom, I'll leave him. I promise I will. I I'll leave him. I love you. You have a very difficult stunt at one point in this film. Mm -hmm. Was that something you had encountered before? Uh, what was uh, you're in a lot of the actual footage. Was that difficult? Oh yeah. Uh, well, no, that's the easy part for me because I'm a dancer and I have mm -hmm. a great deal of discipline that way, and I'm very coordinated. So, so that part's easy. You just get up and you do it, and it's it's almost like you don't. You, 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 that's almost the part where you don't have to concentrate as much doing things like that, like, oh, this probably sounds terrible, but uh, can I mention what happens in the movie, or, or are you coming from the point of view of they don't know yet? Probably we don't want to mention yeah, what, okay. you know, too there, much. There were stunts that were just sort of hilarious in their, in their raw form as we did them, uh -huh. you know, but then when you put them together, they, they add up to this incredible scary thing, right. you know, and this in, in, in impact and things like that. But that's the nature of, of stunts. They're very technical, you know. They're not emotional, they're technical. And, that's right. Uh, I have a lot of experience in, in that kind of background with Ridley and Dune and things like that. Once you dub in those sound effects, it takes on a mm -hmm. more realistic... Yeah. Why worry? There's plenty left! <laughs> Get out of here, you bastard! Get out! I'm calling the police. Get out! I want to know who it was. Listen, no! I pay the rent. Get out of here. All right, wait. Wait a minute. I'm sorry I slapped you, all right? Get out of here. No! Damn it! What's that? You tell me. No! Who, who tell me who it is! <laughs> 